Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I am gonna show you how to use a loop back with Zoom and Ecamm Live. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to set up Loopback. Now, if you've never heard of Loopback before, it is a software that is essentially an audio routing software. Now, let me give you an example of why you would want to use this. So I do a lot of streams where I am presenting in Zoom, but using Ecamm Live for the production quality, making it all look all nice and neat and pretty and delivering a final product. Ecamm natively does not audio route everything correctly. It will send your audio from Ecamm to Zoom through Black Hole or something like that, but it doesn't send the audio back to Zoom and vice versa, Zoom back to Ecamm. Hopefully that made sense. That didn't sound like that made sense, but you'll understand what I mean in a second. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use Loopback. Now, Loopback is a paid application for Mac only, Windows users. I recommend Voice Meter Banana. It does a lot of the same things that I'm gonna show you. Just know, Voice Meter Banana is a little bit more technical, if you will. There are video tutorials on it. Even on my channel, I have video tutorials on how to use Voice Me or Banana back when I used to use Windows. But I'm not on Windows anymore because, um, well, it's Windows and I like Macs. So, moving on. Inside of Loopback, we are going to go ahead and create a new virtual device. This one is going to be what Ecamm is sending to. So, we're gonna call this Ecamm Mic. Now, you can name this whatever you want. <laughs> Needs to make sense to you. Don't get hung up on what I'm naming it. Make it make sense to you and make sure it's something that you can understand. I'm gonna click done on that and that's it for this microphone. So what it's done, it's created a device with a pass through on it. This is something Loopback will do automatically for you and we want the pass through on it. Now, very, very important, go into the options and just make sure it's turned up all the way. I've had it every once in a while, it likes to turn it down. Just make sure the pass through is all the way up. You'll control the sound in Ecamm, so just make sure that one's up 100%. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and create another virtual device and we are gonna call this Zoom Microphone. Or Zoom Mic, again, make it make sense to you. That is how Justin's brain processes this. You do what you need to do. Now, I want you to delete the pass-through that is on there. We don't want the pass-through on the Zoom Microphone, otherwise you're gonna create a loop back and no pun intended, but you're gonna loop the sound back and it's gonna get echoey and weird. Delete the pass through on any additional microphones. Only one microphone has the pass through on it. Everything else, we take it out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sources. Now, if you have the application you're using open, you will select it from this running application. I don't have Ecamm running or uh, Zoom running at the moment, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here and select application. And it will take you to your applications folder and you can find it. And then we also need to add our microphone to this. So click the plus and then all your microphones will show up here. Click on the microphone you're gonna use. And there we have it. So now I've got my microphone and Zoom inside of Loopback. Now, important, important, important. On Zoom, click the options and you need to uncheck mute when capturing. Uncheck it, we don't want that on. Why that is defaulted to on, I don't know. 
turn it off. Just, you're gonna save yourself a lot of headache. Now, any other applications you want to add to Loopback, this is when you would do it. If you wanna use Google Chrome, if you wanna use Logic, if you wanna use Final Cut Pro, whatever the case is, you add them to this microphone. This is going to send the audio to Zoom from Ecamm. So, and again, this will all make sense in a second, but that's it. Now, I'm gonna keep loop back open and I'm gonna go ahead and go into Ecamm and I'm gonna open up Zoom. I'm bringing them both up so you can see how I set this up inside the two applications. Let me turn that off. Um, ignore the black screen in Ecamm. It's because I don't have, well, here. There, there I am. Um, if we go, so in Ecamm, the first thing we need to do is change two settings. The first one is in your sound levels. Click on where you select your microphone and you're gonna change this. And you wanna change it to Zoom microphone or whatever you named it to. Now, if you opened Ecamm before you set this up in Loopback, it may say Loopback Audio 1, Loopback Audio 2. If that is happening, go back to Loopback, turn off the microphones and turn them back on. That will rename them to the correct source. So, where'd my sound levels go? There we go. Go ahead and change it. So this is gonna be Zoom microphone. And I know it's weird that we're selecting Zoom microphone in Ecamm, but it's very important that we do that. Now, on our options, up here in the menu, I wanna click on output, not options, output, audio monitor, and I'm gonna select Ecamm mic. Do not select the Zoom mic up here. It actually doesn't even give you that as a choice. Ecamm mic, and now that's it for Ecamm. Those are the only two settings we have to change in Ecamm. We do need to change a setting in Zoom though, so let's go to Zoom. Okay, here we are in Zoom. Let's go ahead and change some settings. In your Zoom dialog, click on zoom.us, click on preferences, and there we go. Now, this will default to however you've used it in the past. We don't want this. Now, your speaker you can leave alone. <clears throat> I tend to just do same as system, or honestly, I have AirPods in right now, so I'm gonna select my AirPods. I don't need to touch that. But you notice my microphone says Justin's AirPods. I don't want to use my AirPods inside of Zoom. I want to use the microphone we just made. So for microphone, you are going to select Ecamm mic. And that's it. You can see my sound is moving up and down. It's the same microphone that I'm using normally, but it's now going through Ecamm. So if I play something in Ecamm, it will come through. But in the same effect, it will send Zoom's audio back to Ecamm so that my guest can hear them. Because if you're using Ecamm Live and you're using the interview mode, which is amazing, uh, your guests can't hear inside Zoom because they don't necessarily have Zoom open. Uh, but this way the audio gets sent back to them and they can hear what is coming through Zoom and your audio is still going into Zoom. So that's it. That's all you have to do to set up Loopback. If you have any questions about anything we have done in this video, definitely go ahead and drop a like, a comment, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love, love, love to have you subscribe to this channel and I will catch you guys later. Peace.